Justin. Dustin? Justin. Justin. Yeah. Victor. Here you go. Yeah, first time here. Huh? First time here. Never heard of him. Yeah, me too. I've, been, I've lived here since 81 in this area. Oh, uh, really? I mean, I've seen this place. It used to be wagon here. Right. I'm watching TV mostly. <laughs> yeah, well, not cable. Okay. And I heard of this engine oil before. It's misty. So they sell it here. Wednesday that settlement just hit the email it's a little late you know it came a little late but it just hit the email let me see how much I made right quick mechanic just called he just wanted to let me know that the flat top is ready uh, so we will pick up the flat top in the morning but unfortunately unfortunately the secretary will not be in the office tomorrow at the mechanic shop. So they can only take cash. They can't take car payments unless I wait to Friday. Um, so I asked him, I said, hey, man, I probably can get some cash. How much is the bill? He said the land was 1300 So uh, I was just paying cash. But what we're going to have to do is I got to do a wire transfer over down to, uh, y'all know I bank with Navy Federal. So, I got to do a wire transfer from Navy Federal over here to uh, Wells Fargo. And uh, the mechanic said, here, give me a ride to Wells Fargo. And, uh, of course, you know I'm going to have the camera because anytime we pay in cash, you got to have the camera so people know. They know how we pay these bills. So he's going to give me a ride to uh, Wells Fargo. We'll get that $1,300. Uh, not only are we going to get 1300 the check is for 1300 too. Look, I'm finished. Look, it's right here. Look, hold on a minute. Let me just go because you know I ain't got no ain't black it or nothing yet. Okay, look. The check is for the, the check for the label. Look, look, it's right here. Look. You see that right there? You can't see that. You know I gotta flip the camera and some more stuff. Maybe if I put it upside down like this. Nah, you can't see it. <laughs> Give me a the check is for thirteen hundred see but uh this is on my email so i don't want to uh like scroll over nothing because it's not i don't have it like blocked or anything like that let me see if it, if i can see how many loads i did give me one second okay yes i can okay let's okay scoop that over so we did three loads uh, it's not going to focus. Okay, good enough. Did three loads. We get 80%. And, uh, okay, good enough. Y'all yeah, yeah, get that, yeah. Like I said, the uh, check is for 1300 And the labor costs 1300 So that check right there pays for the label. Yes, I'm still getting checks even though I was... Uh, <laughs> at home playing Call of Duty and all that good stuff. The reason for it is the company I work with, we're um, two or three weeks in the hole. So uh, if I start working now, like right now, the checks, my checks won't even come into January. So the money I'm making now, I don't get to January. So that's the reason why 
I can sit at the house and I'm still getting checks coming in. And uh, it's another check after this check right here. We got the YouTube check. We got the YouTube check. Go ahead on the 21st with it. Okay, anyways. But uh, yeah, the, the label is 1300 And uh, I can't get the cash right now. That's why I can't go and pay right now and just go get the truck. It's 7 o'clock. The bank closes at 5. And plus, I got to do a wire transfer. So the bank opened at 9 a.m. for Navy Federal. I probably had that wire transfer. Let me see, 10, 11, 12. By at least noon, noon. So I say noon tomorrow. We'll be back in the flat top. Plus, he said he got get a, he got get a fitting or something, anyways. So he they got to go to Freightliner and get a fitting uh, for whatever. He didn't say what the fitting was for. So the flat top will be back up and running. The label is thirteen hundred. Brand new transmission. Brand new PTO. And um, yeah, we back up and running. We'll be checking out the hotel. And uh, uh oh, what's that? Oh, that's the mechanic calling right now. Oh, wait a minute now. Let me see if I can double take this. Give me a second. Okay. He, he didn't say much. I'm not even going to edit this clip in. I just replay it right now. He he just asked what name did I want the, uh, the bill to be in. Huh? This, this is all he said. Huh? Okay, but, um, he ain't got the fucking volume up. Give me a second, folks. This is all he has. Hello? I say, bro, um, what do you want the, the bill to be under the name or, or what do you want it under? Uh, you can just put a J. Okay, that's all you need to know. All right, he just asked me what name to put on the bill. So, there you go. So, like I said, the truck is ready. I'll pick it up tomorrow. And uh, I don't have any plans yet. I have no idea if I'm finna work or not. I don't know because I got some other issues in the oil field that I gotta go and handle once I get the damn truck. I gotta go and make sure the damn trailer is still there. I don't know if the trailer is, you know, I got, yeah, I gotta go figure that situation out. So, <laughs> it's one thing, it ain't another. But uh, as far as the truck go, oh, my authority went active today. If you uh, watch YouTube stories or if you saw me on Instagram, my authority went active. And uh, I told y'all that I was thinking the end of December or the beginning of January. But I woke up this morning to a bunch of text messages from a bunch of random people uh, talking about congratulations, your authority is active. I can pay them some sort of fee to get some sort of uh, authority certificate today instead of waiting five to seven days for FMC to say to sit. I I got a ton of phone calls, not just on just that situation, but just on a bunch of, you know, when you get your authority, it's just a bunch of scamming going on. Every, everybody wants your money. Dispatch companies calling left and right. They got all this people trying to dispatch me for 17, 20%. Well, y'all just got the wrong person, man. Y'all just got the wrong person, boy. I just, they must don't know who they calling. Man, you, good luck trying to get a dollar out of Andrew. Man, I'm just saying, man, all these folks. I be trying to figure out, man, how do they, how do they know that my authority went active before I know? Like, what, is, what website are they on to where they could just? Okay, let let me let me. Is that some sort of website that they look at that tells them who all authorities go active today or what site are they on? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, how do they know who applied for authority today, who went active today, who ain't got insurance today? What, what site are they on that tells them all this information? Because that's one thing I don't know now. I'm pretty sure somebody out there knows. Let, comment down below. Give us the game because I have no idea, man. Like I said, I woke up to some test messages that's what made me go look on the uh, FMCSA website. And I was like, well, damn, I did get it. It is active. It's ready to go. Uh, am I ready to go? Uh, I'm not ready to go. My plan wasn't to start in January, but hey, it's active. So, uh, technically, I can start right now. You know, truck, truck, truck will be ready tomorrow. Um, still getting the church rolling in, you know, but. I'm just not ready to start right now. Um, like I said, I gotta go check on my trailer, and then I'll know what to do from now. But uh, yeah, man, that's the update on the flat top. You know, um, 
like I said, man, um, people want to know Andrew has it done. Uh, I, first of all, I put out majority of my settlements. I put out there. You know, I, I go over my settlements. I show y'all the settlement. I read them to y'all so y'all can see it. Uh, I don't like pretend like I made X amount of dollars when I really didn't. You know, I don't do any of that faking and frying. I come over here with my settlement, just how I just showed you the settlement, and I read it and post it for everybody to see. So, uh, if you want to know how am I able to find, afford a transmission or why is it I can just take off work and just not care and it seems like I got all the freedom. Well, you know, I bought the truck. I bought the trailer. It's not like I owe none of these people in trucking or nothing like that. I don't owe a mechanic. I don't owe for my truck. I don't owe for the trailer. So, I got freedom. It's just that simple and you can too. You know, hey, how I did it, it may be kind of rough though because... <laughs> Uh, it was rough, definitely rough, but it's well worth it. And the crazy thing is, even though a lot of people don't like the Mercedes being injured, like I try to tell people, man, I bought that truck back in 2018. That engine, <laughs> the engine only broke on me one time since I hit it. And at one time, you know, we had to do an engine rebuild, but still, it only broke one time. You know, look at other trucks on YouTube, man. That engine, well... Not the engine, but, you know, they got the mission, so that's kind of together. So, you know, y'all get what I'm saying, though. But uh, any other work need to be done to the truck? Um, Not that I know of. Um, Maybe just, I think it had to, like, finish replacing, like, two tires or something on the trailer. Um... I don't know of any other issues with the truck. We just did an oil change for the engine filters. We just did all that. Um, the only thing extra, I can do some extra stuff. I can I can replace the brakes. That's one thing I was thinking about since I got the door. That was like, maybe I just go ahead and put some new brakes on now. You know. Um, but since I'm checking out the hotel room tomorrow, I don't know. I don't know. I might hey might be on a flight tomorrow, man. We got a uh, we got young Dolph tomorrow. We got young Dolph tomorrow, man. I might need to be in Memphis. Yeah, we got the young Dolph for uh, young Dolph celebration. Might end up in Memphis. Don't know. Don't know, but uh. As far as this video goes, like I said, man, check it out the shop. Spent about, what, three days? Is this my third day here? Or is this the second day? I forget. This, yeah, the third day in the hotel. So, this three days in the hotel room. We're having about 250 and now, man. Um, I think when I checked in, I paid 170 That was for two nights, and then... Today was a hundred dollars, so two seventy. About two seventy in this hotel, hotel bills. Not to mention all the food I ordered, man. I got plates and ooh, damn it, boy, I got food on the way right now, man. I've been, man, let me show y'all what I've been picking out. Since you guys, shit, hold on now. We got two plates over there. Got the red lobster and shit over here. But look at man, look at the damn smash. Got food on the way. Just more food and shit. Got more food back there. We got some food about to knock on the door. Probably doing this video. Matter of fact, I just wait. Well, shoot, I don't even think the order's on the way yet. Let me see. They didn't say the order was on the way yet, so. But I ain't doing nothing, so why not talk to y'all some more? What are we going to talk about? What are we going to talk about? What's going on in YouTube land? Oh, shout out to Asian Man, man. He just bought a uh, a warehouse. I just saw that. He bought a uh, an apparel company out there. I think he said in Oklahoma. Did I not tell y'all? YouTube. See, y'all ain't pay See what I'm talking about? Y'all just ain't paying attention. The man is retired from trucking. That's what I'm talking about, man. Y'all ain't paying attention. But he got a good team around him. He got people that uh 
you know, uh, it's about business, you know. Uh, <laughs> I don't got a team like that around me, man. Uh, <laughs> most of, most of like the people that's around me, and, like I'm, I'm mostly around family. They like totally against everything I ever do in trucking. Period. So I don't have like a team like him. I'm just kind of like a one man army trying to figure shit out. Okay, so you know. Because if I had the same type of support, now I got the support on the internet, but the internet ain't real life, you know. <laughs> Once I turn this camera off, you know, uh, I no longer have the support. And besides, uh, the internet to me is nothing than just this little hole right here on this camera, you see. Or better yet, this is this is the internet for me. Just a bunch of like cameras on the back of a phone. That's all I see. I don't actually see people. You're not like actually here, so, you know. I'm basically just talking to myself and uh, uploading the video to the internet. That's basically what's going on over here. But, uh, yeah, man, truck completely rebuilt. Um, trailer good to go. Assuming it's still where I, where I, where I hid it at. You know, I hid the trailer. Uh, hopefully it's still there. I, I don't know, man. I know tomorrow, though. I know tomorrow, man. Why we got to go? Why? Well, I got to go cut the mechanics some cash now. Well, I mean, come on now. He messing up the, the, the what do you call it, the, uh, uh, the, the the tax report. You know, when I go and print my bank statement out and get it to the accountant. He messing that up, man. Nice and simple for the accountant. You know, print out the, 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 the 12 months of check, business checking, you know, and send it. Yeah, now I got to go and get, I don't mind getting the cash, you know. It's going to take me a minute, though. I got to do a wire transfer over here to the Wells Fargo, so it ain't like I can just pick up the truck at 9 a.m. Hell, it's all good, though. You know, it's all good. Yeah, if you, uh, if you do end up, uh, banking with, like, Navy Federal or Andrews Federal or any, any type of military credit union, uh, just keep in mind that they are not in at least for me, they're not in any of the areas I work in. So, uh, whenever you need cash, you do need a, a bank that's like you can go and get the cash from, like Wells Fargo or Regents Bank or, or SunTrust or just some bank that's just in the area, a regular bank. And uh, me, you know, I've been banking with Wells Fargo. Anytime I make a big purchase or anytime I need some cash, I always do wire transfers. Like when I bought my truck. That's what made me go to Wells Fargo. I was like, damn, man, I can't. Navy Federal, I don't even know where they at. I think they are. Well, nah, it's a Navy Federal right there uh, uh, in Tennessee. One in Memphis. Nah, not in Memphis. Uh, what's up the street from Memphis? We're just going to say Memphis and Nashville. Or Memphis and Clarksville, Tennessee. But Because uh, I can't think of the other, the other name. They own the military branch, so y'all get the idea, but... Just make sure you get a bank that you can uh, go and get some get some uh, cash out of. Because if I didn't have a Wells Fargo bank, then my uh, my other option would have probably been. I don't think they're gonna Migos ain't doing no cash up. I, I guess um, I, maybe like. Okay, I don't know if I could do Walmart though. I guess I would hit do like uh, what do you call it? Uh, Western, what do you call it? Crap, Western uh, Union, Western Union. I guess I would hit to go and do that to myself, and pay some type of fee. That would have been stupid. Nah, I don't. Know. I would just, I would just wait till Friday, wait till Friday. That's it. But luckily, I already got a bank in the area, you know. So that's what we'll do tomorrow. Um, oh, the mechanic did come through here. Matter of fact. Yeah, we came through here. We had to go and buy the transmission fluid. <laughs> That's right. We got the transmission fluid. We got the receipt somewhere around here, too. I got a video, too, of uh, me walking in the store with the mechanic. I didn't get the transmission fluid on camera. But that transmission oil was expensive. Five gallons. I didn't even know how many, how many, uh, what I needed. But they only sold a five-gallon jug. It was $180. Let me grab the receipt. I don't even know. It's somewhere right here. Give me one second. Yeah, here you go right here. Yeah, man, that transmission fluid was a hundred and eighty dollars, man. Look at that. And it was listed. The list price, they talking about three thirty cents. 
Blue Dirty Sins. You see that right there? I'm just saying. Good God. I ain't no transmission or go that high. But uh, we got the, uh, the uh, what do you call it? The uh, full synthetic uh, 50 weight. That's what that is right there. But yeah, man, it was $180. That was my first time buying transmission fuel, but uh, I ain't gonna hold y'all up, man. It's the end of the video. Okay, so I had to delete the video for a second. So since I gotta re edit it, let me include this extra clip in. Now, why get the authority from me? Okay, so as you can see, uh, from my perspective now, I'm the one that's gotta come out of pocket for breakdowns. I gotta find a mechanic, uh, deal with Freightliner, deal with the parts department, make the phone calls, make the connections. I gotta do it all. I got me by myself. Yeah, nobody, there ain't nobody else. This is just me by myself. I'm the one that's gotta find me goes and find a cheap way to get stuff done. Me, I can't, I can't pick up the phone and call. Wait, wait a minute, hold on. I can't pick up the phone. Man, I'm 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 I blown the train. Come on, Scott Daddy, come R Rob Lowe. I don't got Rob Lowe up in here. I can't call I can't call Prime VL Trucking, Swift Knight, Warner. I can't I don't I can't call him, man. I can't. So uh, that's all I'm saying. So if I got to handle uh damn near eighty percent of my business, I, I might as well just go and handle the whole hundred percent. If I got to find the mechanics, find the parts, outsource all the, the all the freaking work and stuff, you know, let me just go and handle my own dispatching because, as y'all seen, uh, when I was with Coco, uh, dispatching is easy for me, it's very easy. So let me handle that too, cause that's 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 even easier than it is to find mechanics and parts. Yeah, the dispatcher, all I gotta do is open up DAT load board and hello. Yeah, I need three dollars, and that's that's give it to me or else. Yeah, that's all I got to do. So yeah, let me handle all that, you know. And that's what the general freight world. Uh, the oil field is kind of different, um, but you get the idea though. So, you know, yeah, I can I can take care of that. I can take care of that. Yeah, I don't. I don't need no dispatcher company to do. I don't need to be paying. I, oh, I got dispatcher companies blowing me up. I, I don't need to pay no dispatcher company, no 7% or nothing, 8%, no, no, I don't need that. For what? To pull out a phone and book a, make a phone call? No, I don't need that, man. I, I, you know, phone ringing all damn day already as it is. I, I handle all that. But um, that's just from my perspective. And then don't forget my authority is cheaper than it is to lease onto a carrier. I'm only paying 10 rats. 10 rats. For the year. <laughs> There's some other benefits with the authority too, though. Um, well, even without the authority, I already got the freedom, of course. Um, I would say I got... I got the freedom, but I got even more freedom than I do now. What I mean by that is, uh, at least onto the carry I'm in right now, of course, I got the freedom to go and do whatever I want whenever I want and all that good stuff. But I don't have the freedom to haul more than just sand you know now i can go all over the world and do whatever one i want you know so you know i still got freedom but now i got even more freedom like if i wanted to be done with the oil field today well not today but tomorrow because i pick up the truck tomorrow i can leave the oil field tomorrow and never come back yeah i I'm, i don't i don't have to come back i don't have to be here okay i'm out here because i want to be here okay not because i got to be here because i got my authority yeah, I got hour, yeah, so I do not have to be here. I can do power only right now off the low board. Don't have to be here. Don't have to be here, but I'm here though. I mean, I'm just, the check, the check is wonderful, so, you know, but then again, I own everything, so the check is going to be wonderful no matter where I go, you know. But um, I ain't going to hold y'all up. Man, what is this, five minutes? Let me add this on here. It's like 8 o'clock. Let me see if I can get this uploaded by 9 o'clock. I know I just released the video, took it down. It's because it was missing a whole clip. So, you know, let's try this again. Hmm.